Hey everyone, welcome back to the Best Coin News Channel on YouTube. I'm Son of a Silver Stacker. Today's date is April 8, 2024. This one's going to have some impact. And uh, it might not be a long video, but it's definitely going to have some weight to it. Now, if you're new here, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We're trying to get to a bazillion subs. That way we can open up the Stacker store. Now over here to MoneyMetals.com. Looks like everything is in the green. Gold up 985 to 235 Silver up 27 cents to 2795 Platinum up 1125 to 95230 And palladium up $10, even Steven, to 1051.55. Now you're looking at an in stock American Silver Eagle whose premium is 819 for a quantity of 1 through 39. And then your item total is going to be 3613 and the buyback is 2904. Now, over here to the bullion sales at the United States Mint. Yeah, it's the eighth day of April. We have no numbers to report for April whatsoever. So we're a quarter of the way through April. With Bubkiss to report, we got nada, zilch, zippo. But look at March, still running light. And I don't believe we're going to see any new additional numbers added to the March bullion sales. Now, what's also running light? Well, I'm glad you asked. Check this out. Now, we're under U.S. Mint about production sales figures for circulating coin production. And this is a really big deal, folks. This is this should hit home like nobody's business. Now, these cumulative, cumulative numbers all right, are updated monthly, once per month. right? Just, that's it. That's all you get. The other one we just looked at was 5 o'clock every weekday. This one here that we're looking at is once a month. And now we have gone through January, February, and March, right? January, February, March, April, May, June. Well, we're now in April. So we have three months, or better stated, one quarter of the year finished. All right? Uh, now we can take a snapshot of what the Mint is doing right now with their circulating coin production. Because one month, the trend does not make. Three months, yeah, that's pretty much trendy. Because let's say one month is kind of, yeah, it's an anomaly. Two months is kind of a coincidence, but three months is a trend, okay? So let's keep on keeping on. Now, we got the circulating coin production chart right here from the United States Mint. We have Denver, we have Philadelphia, and then we have a total of those two. So looking at the uh, one cent is 500, half a billion from uh, Denver, and just under half a billion from uh, Philadelphia for a total of just about a billion, okay, a billion ten. All right, now look at this number. This number here I've highlighted. This ten, okay, that's the five cents, and that's a total. I've highlighted the ten cent, and I've highlighted the Native American dollar. Now, I've highlighted these because they had no, shot shown no movement whatsoever. No new issuances were struck of these coins. Now, for the Native American dollar, that makes sense. They've already become on sale, and they probably already had an allotment of one hundred ninety thousand. Uh, each from Philadelphia and Denver for the uncirculated sets. However, oh boy, this is the gut punch that won't quit right here so far. This is the five cent and the ten cent. These are the two we're going to be looking at right now. Okay, now we are in right April. This is the second quarter of the year. Now, if we were to extrapolate the data and multiply this number sixty one times four quarters in a year, because this is four quarters of production, four times six. Do the math with me, 24, 240 million. If we keep, and, and, and we know the United States Mint won't do that because coming up at some point during this year, they're not going to produce any nickels because they're getting ready for the, pre, or the, the following year, right? So with that said, it's going to be, well, a pretty light year for nickels. And I have been saying on and on and on that it is really tough to find Jefferson nickels on eBay. That's not them. Maybe this is them. I just showed you something else. Here we go. Yeah, okay. I've got 2024 Jefferson nickel roll. And um, yeah, there's 88 results. And mostly they're pre-sales. And remember, we're in April, folks. Um, yep, 2023, not going to do it. Need 24, so those are 23. Okay, how come I'm asking for 2024, but they're showing me loads of 2023? And over here, you can't really see it. But as I got the find over here, um, I can go through them right there. There's a 2024. From Denver, that's two bucks. That doesn't seem unreasonable. Um, there's another one. It looks like a pre-sale, though. This looks in hand. And I would probably start picking those up right about now, only because we don't know how many they're going to produce and how well, the quality is going to be going forward. Um, I'm still looking at 2023 here, folks. That is not good. Not good at all. All right, let's keep on keeping on. This is probably the best article uh, I've seen from CoinNews.net in a while. This is by Mike Unsert, state of March 22nd, 2024. U.S. Mint produces 644.86 million coins for circulation in February. Do you know how many they produced this time, folks? All right, we are right here. That's the end of March. 1.733.54. That's 1.7 billion coins. Now, if I scroll on down here to the bottom, okay... Down to the bottom, right here. All right, that's not it. That's not the. There we go. Now, year to date, right there. Circulating coin production denomination. 
bam, and year to date is a term that refers to the time between the first day of the current calendar year. All right, so from January 1st till now, year to date. Okay, now check this out. We stood at 61.2 million Jefferson Nichols minted, and that was the end of February, right? Now here we are, and that's year to date, folks, total for the year. 198.5 million for the dime. That's the Roosevelt dime, and then Native Americans, 2.24. Do those numbers look identical? 61.2, 2.24, absolutely. That is interesting how the United States Mint decided in March, usually when they're ramping things up for the month, for the year, all right? Because look at the March total here is 1.1 billion. We're only at, and like I said, do the math there, 332 million. See, so yeah, I've got 1733 minus 14. Yeah, that's 300 million coins. And where does that put on a, put us on the chart? For uh, February 2023 through February 2024, circulating coin production, well, 330 is somewhere between December 2023 and October of 2023. That's when things are ramping down at the United States Mint. That's not when they're coming up. So this is really interesting. I have to ask, and it begs the question, why is it that the United States Mint for the month of March produced no Jefferson Nichols and no Roosevelt Dimes? What's up with that? I, I don't have any answers. I really don't. And I can only just fill the void and the, uh, the vacuum, right, uh, with just cornball ideas of why it's happening. You know, I don't have an answer. And the United States Mint really needs to step up and say, hey, you know what? It, here's the reason why. Because it costs over 10 cents to make a nickel. It costs over, you know, a certain amount of cents to make the, the Lincoln cent. Well, that that's irrelevant because they made the Lincoln cent, right? And then they didn't strike any dimes, which you would think they're making hand over fist because that's such the lightest coin there is in circulation. So it makes no sense. Why are they not striking Jefferson Nichols? Well, it could be they. it is a strategic medal. We know that. And it is also a green medal. And it could be one of the first ones to be taken out of circulation or to have its metal content changed like they did with those uh, wartime nickels where they were 35% silver. Folks, We, like I said, we are in some interesting times. Now, let's go here to the Wikipedia page, United States Mint, Mintage Figures here, and I got to go all the way to the bottom here. So, so here we go. Let's just start this out. Now, there's shield, shield nickels, and then you got the without rays shield nickels. Liberty head, all right, right there, and then you've got the Indian head, and that goes all the way until 1938, and that's when the Jefferson head, uh, head nickels start right there. Bam, all right. So 19 million, that's quite a bit, right? In today's standard, that's not that much in today's standards, right? Because we're seeing hundreds of millions, if not billions, of these struck, right? So that's really not a lot. And if you do pick one of those up, good job. Way to go. Kudos to you, those. All right, 1939, they bumped it up a lot. 120 million, 176 million, 200 million. And we're just talking here in 19 early 1940s late 1930s now this is the wartime composition look at that 271 million yeah we're not even at those numbers yet folks but like i said if you go ahead and extrapolate that data out 240 million if if we produce at this current rate 240 million yeah and it, we're still above numbers except for that 43p now look at this this is when they go gonzo and that's that post-war composition look at that really the numbers start ramping up here that was 54d and then we're in the hundreds of millions. Look at that billion in 1964, almost 1965. That's why you see so many of those everywhere. Um, now, we're going to get to 2009, and i got to show you here. So here we are. We're doing the time traveling right here through the data, and we're almost there. Look at this, 1.2 billion, 1 billion for 1999. And here we go, Westward Journey. Those was a short-lived, and then Return to Monticello. There we go, 2009. The recession caused low mintage numbers not seen since the 1950s. And they only produced 39.8 million Philadelphia nickels mm, and 46.8 million Denver nickels that year. So, folks, if you're able to swing these, all right, yeah, I like to swing them, pull them, right? You know what my slang means? I like to buy them. I like to hold them. I like to pick them up because they are such a low mintage, right? That is completely, I mean, remarkable low mintage. Now, I'm not saying that the 61.2 million is going to go on for the rest of the year. It's probably not, but it's going to be a whole lot lower than what we're used to seeing. Not necessarily what we're seeing here in 2009. I'll tell you what, though. If you were going to buy some 2009 rolls, yowza, look at that. A P and a D roll, two, almost 250 bucks each. Look at that, 299 for that one. Last one, 250 for that one. Yeah. So there's people that saw the future, and they said, gosh, you know, 
2009 was going to be running real light with the Jefferson Nichols. So I'm going to save a box, maybe save some rolls. Well, they're doing all right now, aren't they? Uh, it sure seems that way. Spend $2 and you make $300. Mm, that's kind of a nice little profit there, huh? Yeah, a little bit. Now, let's keep on keeping on. I wanted to let you know about this. This is still not available. This is the American Women Quarters Collector Coin Board, and we have no shiny candy like red button for the 2024. However, the 2022 and the 2023 are still available if you have not picked them up. It is a household order limit of two, and I believe the United States Mint does recognize that, so you probably have to use a different address, I imagine, if you wanted more of those. Now, let's go to those plus ones. Bam! Proverb 26.2. Like a bird that wanders off, like a swallow that flies off, so an unwarranted curse comes back to he who utters it. Now, basically, I think what that means is that, you know, like birds who return to their nest, so too an unjustified curse will come back to rest upon the head of the one who spoke it. Now, does that mean that a warranted curse is, is good to go and it won't befall upon your own head? I don't know. I try and stay away from that. Now, this is Blinded by the Light, Manfred Mann. And this is for today's eclipse, so don't look at the sun. Come on. I, I, am I the only one who doesn't give a you-know-what about this eclipse? I, I could care less, personally. That's just, I'm just saying. Either way, if you're out there, please be safe. And uh, y'all have a wonderful day. Stack her up.